My name is Lee Nish, I'm pastor at Sparks United Methodist Church, and this week it's my privilege to share with you our meditation. Uh, and I like to call this uh, my view from the pew. I'd like to begin by reading uh, a scripture that we're actually going to be focused on throughout this coming year. It is our annual conference focus scripture, but I want to share it with you right now. It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7. Jeremiah says this, but seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your welfare. Now, there are so many meanings we could take from that. And I know that over this past 15 months, have we, as we have, in a sense, been in exile because of the pandemic, some of us have dreamed about being anywhere else that we could have possibly been where the pandemic was not reaching, but unfortunately it has stretched all around the world. So all of us have really been in exile. And even now, as we're emerging out of exile, Jeremiah would plead to us the same text that he pled to Israel in his day and age. That is, seek the welfare of the city, for it is in the city's welfare that you find your welfare. And the reason that that is such an important message for us today is because as we continue to battle the COVID-19 virus, uh, particularly here in the Washoe County area, you know, just barely over 50% of our local population has been vaccinated. Even as the vaccination itself, the vaccine itself has now been prevalent, it's abundant. In fact, for those of you who are in our local area, I want to plead with you, if you haven't yet received your vaccination, or if you know someone who hasn't, would you drop by the church next Tuesday afternoon during the food pantry hours from 12 until 3, our Washoe County uh, health personnel will be giving free vaccinations right here on our campus in celebration of Life Park. Don't even have to come in the building, it'll be done outside but we really want to do everything we can to encourage people to be vaccinated because it is in the welfare of our city that we seek that welfare. We seek that welfare of all folks who live in and around Brino Sparks area, Washoe County. It's in our joint welfare that we find our own welfare, that we become safer. Along those same lines, I want to share some discouraging news to you, and I just discovered this in a newspaper article I read just a couple days ago, that um, medical debt in this country is the largest share of debt anywhere per capita in the world. We have 140 billion, that's with a B, 140 billion dollars worth of medical debt in the United States. And as you might well know, because I'm sure at some time in your life, you have incurred some medical debt as well. You know, if you decide to buy a house or if you want to buy a car, you take out a loan, you are intentionally taking out debt in order to provide for yourself. But medical debt is a little different. We, we don't choose to take medical debt on ourselves. It is foisted upon us because we don't have a choice oftentimes the treatment that we absolutely need is, uh, is so costly that we just couldn't afford to pay it. And particularly for those who are not insured, particularly for those who live in the 15 states in the United States where Medicaid was not expanded, they're the ones who carry the greatest burden of the medical debt. That's why our congregation has become involved in RIP medical debt by being able to put so much of that medical debt uh, to rest, uh, particularly the uh, medical debt that's gone to collections over all the counties of Nevada, say for Clark County, because we understand how important it is to fight this pandemic on the front end through vaccination, but we also wanna fight it on the back end through being able to help people who are trapped by medical debt and it could haunt them for the rest of their lives. You know, one of the things that I'm proud of our partnership is that once your medical debt uh, in collections is eliminated, 
RIP medical debt will also work to eliminate your bad debt record. And so you get a clean slate and are able to move forward without carrying any bad marks uh, on your record. So this is such a win-win for everyone. And why is this an important message to share in this meditation? It's important because we're not yet there in conquering this pandemic. We are still at threat with having to close the economy down again because we don't have enough people who have been vaccinated to achieve herd immuni immunity. I'm especially concerned about our children this fall as they return to classes. There's a good chance that our children will have to return to classes being masks, mask and maybe even social distancing because we who are the responsible adults haven't done our job all the way. Let me once again encourage you, and I want to read to you Jeremiah's words once again, but seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. Now before you take those long-awaited vacations and fly off to other parts of the country and maybe even other parts of the world, do me a favor, do us a favor. Make sure you're vaccinated. Make sure everyone who is within your sphere of influence knows how important it is to be vaccinated. And also, help us close the gap. We're two thirds there, $3,000. We need another $1,500 by the end of the month and $4,500 will eliminate all the medical debt in collections throughout the state of Nevada, save Clark County. Uh, you can't help but be a blessing to others as you bless the welfare of the city. Amen.